A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of Why in the Morning. Welcome back. Uh, we are streaming live on our website. That is www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. This is Why in the Morning and uh, you're just in time for the next conversation of the day. And it's all about matters concerning politics. And today when we are talking about politics, we shall handle a few issues that have been trending the past uh, few days. And of course, the issue of Azimio Laumoja and, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, uh, the gubernatorial uh, seat that has been de declared by, uh, that is Honorable uh, Gladys Wanga, uh, who is vying for the gubernatorial seat of Homer Bay County. And of course, this and much more. Uh, concerning youth and legislation we shall also touch on the role of the youth what is your role when it comes to shaping the future of this nation to help us in this particular conversation i am with nduati davy to my extreme right he is uh, the national chairperson of the youth nation kenya thank you you're thank you. well thank you looking much. sharp as always i love the, the logo <laughs> there huh? the branding yeah. Huh? It is a way. It is a way to communicate uh, our seriousness in this issue. Yeah, yes. and of course, uh, thank you so much for joining me today. Mm -hmm. And uh, next to me, I am with Charles Tabu. He is the chairman of Bunge Lawazalendo. Karibu sana, Charles. Thank you. Thank you. Kusalama well. pia. Very well. Nashukuru sana. Ready to go. Wazalendo na sawa dini. Oh, they are very fine. Yeah. They are very fine. I know it's been a while since I last hosted you. Exactly. Uh, I <laughs> don't know how many years. <laughs> <laughs> All is well. Everything at his own time. Yeah. Exactly. Thanks for coming, man. I Thank appreciate it. Asante. Engage with us. The hashtag is why in the morning at Ramaguko and at Y254 channel. Before we touch on politics, gentlemen, love is in the air. Mm. Huh? <laughs> There's a heart here. Uh, what do you think about Valentine's? But. <laughs> do you celebrate it? Do you have any plans? I have plans. Do you, are, you, are you under any pressure no, to deliver? I, mean, I, I, read the, I read the Bible this morning yeah. about Valentine. And I was remem reminded by the good book in the book of Numbers 2 and 14. Okay. It says that uh. Uh, in the second month of the year, the 14th day, ah. they partook the herbs. Yeah, now, I will. Someone, <laughs> someone, someone, someone gave me that. <laughs> Valentine's is in the Bible. It is in the Bible. The command Va is there. Valentine's is in the Bible. You're supposed to take a living bread and herbs. So, don't Which be book? under pressure, man. Numbers what? Two. <laughs> <laughs> Numbers chapter two. Two and fourteen. Was fourteen. Yes, Valentine's so, is there. Somebody check it out for me. So, <laughs> uh. don't be under any pressure mm. that. Um, Valentine brings a lot of, uh, you know, you, you do things you did not plan for. Uh -huh. But most so, it's important to to have Valentine always in your heart. Yeah. Love people, and regardless of the day, be there for them, regardless of the events uh -huh. that happen in their life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's not just about. Um, the flowers is about our hearts. And mm. We need to have hearts that also go out to people. So yes, Valentine is in the Bible. Two, two fourteen. Check it out. Numbers. It is in numbers. Or just Google uh. these uh. words. Yeah. Uh. The day in the second month, the fourteenth day. Uh. In numbers. You'll see it. Just so, uh, Valentine's, uh, 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 what do you have planned? And uh, was I lend up here what I was going to go to Yeah, we are just working like any other normal day. Yeah. Everything has its own time. Mm -hmm. uh, Valentine comes once in a blue moon. Mm. And uh, it is a time for remembering one another to show love. And that love should be always in the practice mm. of humanity. Mm. So, being classified as a valentine's day on 14th of february mm. that's normal and we should go with it and we should embrace others mm. thank you yeah numbers numbers chapter 9 verses 11. yes you've seen it eh? i've googled something here yes the second e month eh? of the year the <laughs> Num numbers 9 11 the 14th day of the second month at even 
they shall keep it and eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. Yes. Yeah. We, shall, we shall take bitter herbs. That's where I'm focusing. <laughs> and unleavened bread. So, Mambo, are chocolate stuff. This, that is all the spirit of the 14th day of the second month. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really a pressure. No pressure. Bitter herbs. Yes, bitter herbs. And a different bread. So we should go buy Valentine's gift to an Uliam Boga. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Aloe vera. Aloe vera. The other days they can take the chocolates and all these other things. It's good pressure. Gentlemen, um, it's a pleasure be, uh, ha ha having you guys today. And of course, um, I would like us to kickstart this conversation on uh, uh, the issue that is taking center stage today. And of course, this, I know, has been a conversation that uh, it is a conversation that will not end today. Um, the, uh, we have an issue concerning the Waipa leader, Kalonzo Musioka, who is uh, uh, the, pro the, the prospects of uh, Waipa leader Kalonzo Musioka joining the Azimio La Umoja movement has been rocked by bribery claims. And uh, it is because of this that we have uh, uh, governors from Ukambani region claiming that he is demanding billions of Kenyan shillings from, uh, the, uh, from him to join Azimio. So with Kalonzo remaining uh, non-committal despite recent claims, a deal was in the offing. Governors uh, Alfred Mutua of Chak Machakos, Charity Ngili of Kitui, and Kivuta Kibwana of Makweni stirred the hornet's nest at the, the weekend saying that they were aware of secret financial demands issued before consideration to back Raila Odinga again for presidency in the coming elections. So the company governors are uh, 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 accusing Kalonzo of giving too many conditions before joining Raila's coalition. Let's talk about that first. What do you think about that, Ndwati? First, uh, we, we must understand we are in a political dispensation as mm. a nation. And uh, politics is about interest. When I hear of such sentiments, what I want to think, because I cannot verify, is that uh, probably Kalonzo has been, uh, you know, backing Raila for a long time, politically, mm. and he feels that uh, a time is coming that also, for him to get to the next level, you know, leadership and especially in Africa is not a Kenyan issue in Africa and all over the world is a very <coughs> uh, when it comes to campaigns and uh, especially elective posts for presidential is very expensive mm. so probably if I was to look to, to say that I am interpreting as a layman I will see that mm. uh, Kalonzo will be saying okay fine mm. uh, I'm willing to support mm -hmm. But uh, of course, over the years, I've, I've put a lot of resources. Mm. So probably he wants, uh, he wants a bonus for the resources that he has mm. uh, dispensed in the past. Mm. But we cannot say or uh, we cannot just um, settle on the allegation because mm. around this time, it's politics. Yeah. Everyone can say anything. Mm. Uh, we've never had such an opportunity where politicians are allowed and permitted to either by ways of convincing or confusing. Mm -hmm. So mm. okay. it's, 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 it's out there. And mm. um, if, if it indeed was true, probably he will be also looking at uh, himself, what's in for him in the future. And okay. especially after the elections, you know, you know, when you support somebody, then mm. it means that you set aside your interest politically, yeah. but uh, economically you can never set aside your interest. Mm -hmm. That is one uh, thing. Chacha, what do you think about that? And of course, I'd like to quote Senator uh, uh, Mutula Kilonzo, who uh, is a Makwende senator. He said that, uh, uh, of course, he, he also stands in as the WIPA vice chair. Uh, he said that they were not in a hurry to join Azimio, and uh, he termed it as amorphous. And I quote, we are not keen to be dragged into Azimio for now. We do not want to find ourselves in the same situation as NASA. Thank you, thank you. Uh, okay, fine. From our, our own view, and more so our data collection that we have made as Bungalow Zalendo, mm -hmm. 
uh, we have seen that on the ground per se, even that side of Kalonzo, most of the supporters are for Azimio direction. Mm -hmm. It is only that uh, our leaders are selfish in a way. They are not fighting for the interests of the nation. They are fighting for their personal interest, hiding behind the common manage. Mm. If you look at the way we are going right now, mm. let us go back to 2007 election. You'll find that this is the direction we are going. The leaders, by that time, the way they used to talk, so that they can face Kibaki by that time, mm. Kibaki, Kibaki versus Raila. Mm. It is just like now, now the way we are seeing it. Mm. If you study the 2007 election and how it happened, it is now coming to be similar to that. Whereby there are some leaders are trying to take their other direction for bargaining. The allegation of um, the billions request, I cannot confirm that and i don't want even to talk about that because in politics also there's a lot of propaganda mm -hmm. and this propaganda is another way of penetration mm. <clears throat> and uh, i know very well the the brigade of uh, kalonzo yeah. as much as they talk the people themselves kenyans themselves who have the heart of the change mm. of this nation mm -hmm. because we are looking the leadership integrity here they they are saying there are two horses yes mm. And we know very well, Azimio has come up with a structure, a very good structure. And uh, if you look at their policies, they are coming up to transform this country with. There are some people who are talking, and they have been in power, and they have not transformed the country in a better way. More so, they have made us to have so many debts. What we need to do as Kenyans, it is high time now we make decisions ourselves, individually, the voters, not the leaders to make us have a direction. Let us make a direction that we know my vote will protect me. Mm. I should not begin with my vote. Neither should I sell my vote. Now I'm, 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 I'm looking at what uh, our Honorable Ngilu, uh, Charity Ngilu said, Governor Ngilu said during this uh, weekend. And he was saying that Honorable, that Honorable Kalozo Musioka is keeping uh, uh, the people from their region, the Kambas, of course, mm. hostage. Mm. And he should allow them mm. to go and support Honorable Raila Odinga in Azimio. Mm. And, uh, and, and of course, this is the conversation, especially even touching on the youth. Because the youth, now, if this is uh, the case, are they kept hostage? Are That's they true. being withheld from supporting the person they want to support, whether it is Azimio or any other? Aguko, you have just explained what I've started with. Mm. I said from our finding on the ground, yes. the common manager who is the voter, their interest is to vote as a meal. So what Gilly is saying is true? Is true. And that I concur with her because that is what our finding also is there. They are focusing on as a meal. It is only that the, the Kalonzo factor is coming out, out of as a meal. So he wants to be lured to as a meal. But the, the, the entire Kamba community, they are seeing the vision is in as a meal. I would like to quote uh, Governor Gil, who said, honestly, if there is a person within our community who is still waiting for something so that he joins Azimio, it's not fair at all. And if he wants money, let him come to the community and we shall fundraise and give him so that he can release our people because we need to go. Let him stop asking for money mm -hmm. forthwith, even though we have poverty in our community, we still have some pride. Exactly. exactly. No, oh, you both agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. Yeah. You know, um, first of all, we need to understand that uh, this election for 2022 is a different kind of an election. Mm. First of all, the, the game changing here is about the strategies. It's about the vision for the nation beyond Jubilee administration. Mm. When I look at the conversations that are happening, like what was happening in Mazaoni and regarding okay, the Wiper Party, because that's now quite political, it is my call to these uh, party leaders and the political leaders, first of all, to put aside their personal interest. Because what is coming out 
clearly is that there are certain personal interests that are making some people to feel like they are already stuck in a situation, whereas it's not about the community, it's about the individual. Right. But now, there's a larger okay. community here. Mm -hmm. This community is the Kenyan community. That community is represented by majority of the young people. Let us have an understanding that the current st statistics of the, the voters, registered voters, 54% of the registered voters are between 18 years and 35 years. That is quite a number, considering this is a block of about 7.5 million voters. And that is not to, to even talk about the, the those who are above 35 years, yeah. who are around, again, it's a serious representation of about 39% of around 11 million, young, uh, million people. Majority of these people are youthful. When you talk about a youth, you're talking about 18 to 35. But youthfulness is about 35 again to 60. To six, you understand? Okay. And, 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 and in Kenya, uh, we, we hear of but young of course, people you know, the, who are the, These demographics <laughs> now are uh, yes. what has brought so many debates exactly. as to exactly. what age can represent what age. Very, very true. But, but, but to just cut it loose, eh? it is very, very important for us as young people again to also have our own say. You know, the problem is when we allow the political leaders to speak on our behalf, then when they have their own personal situations mm. and personal uh, requirements, get and mixed fact, up. you know, we get mixed up in all that conversation. Okay. The, the truth of the matter is, as young people in, mm. this, in this country, we need serious reforms. We need economic empowerment reforms, and these reforms cannot be done if we don't have a reset of our mind. Now, 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 now let's talk about that particular area yes. uh, that you're mentioning, the reforms. Yes. Because among the resolutions endorsed by the professionals and the business community, caucus uh, supporting the Azimio presidential candidate uh, include... Of, of course, uh, the, the Honda Borrello Digger. Yes. It included mm -hmm. a commitment to engage Raila in, ten, in tailoring communities' economic blueprint yes. and inclusion of the Kamba community in government through an MOU to be signed. Yes. And according to a statement, of course, part of, in, part of the resolution is, according to a statement is, we need to end the politics of negative competition and grandstanding among the leaders of the region and embrace teamwork yes. and unity of purpose in the Kamba community in national agenda and politics at national level. Now, the national agenda that we, because everybody has their own you know, a voice yes. and manifesto. Yes. Which way for the youth when it comes to the national agenda? Mm. Where do we put our weight on as youths? And what exactly should be our priority? Let yeah. me let, okay. Let me <laughs> let me finish it then, and, and, and then I come with you. Yes, okay. still here. That's a, that's that's a very very good uh, uh, observation over there. The first thing that we need to do as a nation and as young people is to appreciate that uh, a lot has been done to build and to set the the infrastructure mm. towards uh you know economic growth but now when we look at the next government dispensation and looking at the next administ government administrator to the presidency, mm. the biggest infrastructure that is remaining mm. unattended is the youth infrastructure. Exactly. Because when we have 7.5 million young voters between 18, point 18 years and 35 years, and have 5 million of them in CRB, yeah. then we are not in the right path. And we have that block of young people, young potential in CRB first, mm -hmm. and they represent a serious voter representation. So what does that mean? It means that whoever is looking at taking leadership at the end of the day must, must reinvent and reset the economic model that mm. favors the young people. Because you cannot have young people who are 
against TAC and chained in CRB and expect again that when you are taking the, 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 the leadership as a, uh, as a leader mm. of, of a nation okay. to, to have this kind of dependency on young people who cannot come out of, you know, when you are listed under CRB, your credit rate goes down to 40%. And this is a fact because I am in the youth docket. When you are on CRB, you lose and waste a lot of seven years of your potential. So if you are 25, mm -hmm. then you recover at 32. If you are 30, then by the time you're, you're being... You're saying even 50. So, yeah. You know, <laughs> so we, we are looking at, as uh. people will be looking at who is talking our language. Our language is this. We have young graduates who are jobless. We have millions of young people listed. What is the plan first? First of all, we need to get them out of that situation. Uh, let me go to you. Uh, okay, thank you. You see, when you talk about the youths, first of all, the youth should recognize themselves. They should not think that people will speak for them. I can remember when I was a youth man, during our time in 97, from that 97 mm. to 2000, the year 2000 election, 2002 election, we, we, we came up with a pressure group. And we put a policy paper for ourselves mm. in, from 2007. And I'm telling you, we are the people who brought the Ministry of Youth. Then from that level, we went further to push 2002. And in 2002, we were not just a matter of uh, discussing that the youths are the majority or what. No. We have to come up with a pressure group mm -hmm. and debate on the table. We are learned, yes. We have all the power to do what we want to do. So in 2002 election, we were told to start companies and what have you. That is what the, the leaders told us to do. We started those companies. But you know the greed of the nation and our leaders. We mm -hmm. were not given any contracts, neither tender. So if you talk about job opportunities, these leaders are resigning from the ministry, leaving the jobs mm. to come to politics, to vote. You, you are a jobless youth. You vote this year jobless. Next year again, you vote again, you are still a jobless person. It seems that you are not using your, your common sense well. Mm -hmm. You also, you need to fight for your vote with, to, to get a space. As a youth, mm -hmm. we need to have what we call civic education. Because the civic education is what will create that awareness. Information on the grassroots level. So that this kind of the structure and 7 million uh, registered voters of the youths we are talking about, you can, you can start from the grassroots. Let's say that you bargain all the MCAs to be the youths. Mm. You must also um, zone yourselves. Yeah. I, I get it. If you see the government is frustrating youths in terms of civic education, that's why we as Bungela Island, we have been trying to advocate. And we have been also under pressure because the same, same youth, you are trying to create some awareness on them. They mm. are the same, same youth being used to come and destroy. You see, you should unite as youths. I'm, I'm, even I'm, though I'm, me now, I'm mm. not a youth. By that time, we used to unite and push our agenda. And you can see by that 2002, there were some youths el elected and there are some youths given some positions. But when, 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 when I look at the national agenda, we have the national agenda that uh, is, 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 is a conversation right now. Mm. But the question is, uh, the youth getting involved in this particular uh, agenda, the sustainability of this particular agenda, promises that we are getting, the, the, the financial implications that are there, the economic state of the country. Mm -hmm. Considering all this, because it's like some form of gideri, for lack of a better word, it's a cobweb yeah. of, 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 of ideas and a cobweb of issues. How, what is the role of the youth when it comes to shaping this nation and shaping the national agenda and you know where should we should our focus be on because at the end of the day there are so many things that need to be handled yet we cannot handle all of them at the same time exactly. yeah. yes i i think if i can focus on the issue particularly we cannot say that i know i know people are focusing that the youths don't have finance but in fact the youth should come with a pressure group mm -hmm. you see this uh, the big politicians they are coming with their political parties. 
on the table to bargain with. Yeah. Even the youth should come with their own party so that they bargain with their party. You should not just come and support others. When you support others, you'll never, you'll never be recognized. You have to come with your party okay. and sensitize the youths about their party. Uh -huh. And that in their party is now they'll bargain with. Uh -huh. Because all uh -huh. promises we have been given, so many promises, mm. right from 2002, 2007, all our promises, mm. but they are not guaranteed to be done. So the only mm. thing that can help even the youths of this nation, first of all, they should identify who can we ally with and what transformation has he done to this nation. Mm. They are talking about the, the freedom that we have, the constitution, the access to information, Article 35 of the Kenya Constitution. Who brought it? Who brought the issue of devolution that has at least brought the resources to the ground? We are seeing some things happening, like Makueni eh? mm. County, like Kitui County, mm -hmm. like um, now we are seeing some changes in other, other county. We cannot judge all governors that have failed. There are few who have done good, mm. but some have failed. But we cannot talk on that. We look at who brought such kind of changes. That, that, that is the person also people should focus on. If he can do this, then we can ally with him. Then we push the pressure again to get more goodies. Still the question, same. Uh, the, the same question that, that I've, uh, I've asked goes to you. What is your response on that? The first thing that uh, we must appreciate and understand, you can never but gain in life from a place of disadvantage. That is the biggest problem. When you see people bringing demands on the table is to their advantage. Now, the first thing that we need to discuss, and I, I, this is my personal and my policy view, mm -hmm. is the young people are disadvantaged. That's the number one. Mm. The kind of young people that we have in this nation, as we speak, are first of all uneconomically disempowered. Now, we have to think first. When we are looking at politics, we are looking about policies. It's about legislation. What kind of legislations do, are we looking at? I have been there to push for even the consolidation of the affirmative fund, the youth fund, the UESO fund the Women Enterprise Fund, the Sports and Digital Fund, under one basket, so that it, this, 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 this fund can become, um, can become more accessible and also can become more effective. But now the problem is this. As we are doing that, we have a lot of young people who are saying, even if we are to, to vote in a particular direction, what happens to the kind of injustice that we are facing economically? And those injustices that we are facing are on this uh, are on this point. The young people are accessible to consumer loans. These mobile apps they came to just lure the young people. The betting apps they are just there to make money from the young people. And what happens after they make bad choices? They get listed. First of all, we need to think critically as we go to the next election. What happens to these five point? three million young people who are listed for 500 shillings. Mm -hmm. You know, during the time of BBI, we saw a lot of political persuasions and uh, giftings. For, uh, less than 5,000 people, MCS were given car grants for 4.5 billion. Five million young people. You, you remember that, 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 what happened, that was last year? Yes, that was last, last year. year. Uh -huh. Five million young people are in CRB, always with the CEO, because of 4.2 billion. 4.2 billion for 5.3 million young people. So we, we need to take serious the whole conversation. Now, when mm. you get back to the politics, again, the clearance of you to, to run for office, for those who will be running for uh, legislative office above NCA, for, for a fact you need your health clearance, you need your CRP, you need a lot of concussion of things. Now, when you put all these things in, in, to, to a young person who has no money, and you tell them, okay, fine, let's come up with the, with, the, with the pressure. Which pressure? We have to talk from a place of economic empowerment. A young person has no problem who the president becomes. As long as I am able 
to cater for myself. As long as I'm a graduate who is able to get an opportunity, not, em uh, not employment, if we create such an environment for the young people, then this country is going to the right direction. And that's why the basis of the youth nation is to conduct civic engagements there is, and there participation. Is, there, is, there, is some, there is an event that took place a few days ago, on, uh, and, and, and the president was attending this particular event when he was speaking on the, on, on the 12th of February. At, uh, uh, at a particular event where we had the more than 3,000 mm -hmm. youths that were in attendance. I believe you, 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 you saw that. I don't know if, if you were there. there. You were there. And uh, the president spoke to the youth. And I would like to quote what he said um, uh, to, in, in this particular uh, uh, reason. He said, and I quote, you must ensure you are fully involved in the political process. It is the only way to guarantee opportunities and space to drive your agenda in the next administration. And, and, and I think from just the same, same statement, you can remember what I've said about the, what do you have as a political party mm. to bring on the table and be, bring you up again. And I want to correct you, my friend the youths must be concerned by the person becoming the president of this nation. If you put the head of state to be somebody who has no, no idea, nor that interest of the youths or formulation of the, uh, of, the, of the policies that you are talking about. I've been participating on parliamentary bills. And we find that uh, public participation is too low. And these are the areas youths should be created, the awareness of the youth should be there so that they should know we, we, what bills are coming up? Even after they make these announcements on gazettes, gazettes you know, on, on, on newspapers about public they participation? Don't turn up. They don't turn up. They don't turn up. That's why I'm telling you, we need to have, first of all, civic education. Then the youth also should understand that power is not given. Power is taken. But the, but, but the, but the problem of the youth is that there are so many things that they are focusing on. So much so that they just say, whoever becomes president, is our. Yeah, and that's why they are, they are getting lost. They are short-focused. Short they like what they can get today. You see, issue is not money. I can remember people like Tom Boyer. They used to work very hard. They used to struggle for this nation, but they didn't have money, per se. If you look at the political of, any politics of money versus the issue of focusing the leadership, leadership will come with your struggle because you have to come out and speak for yourself. And as youths, you have time, you have energy. You are, in fact, the youths of today are learned than even the lead, some of the leaders here. But you see, the problem with the youth is one, they are waiting to be given. Women are fighting for their direction. They have their lobby groups here and there. Have you had any lobby group of youths? Youths, I know that they have political party yeah. leadership. The only thing is that they should come out vibrantly with the, the energy they have. They have youth, we have youth leagues in political Exactly. Party. Those are just... Uh, we call them in Kiswahili vugu vugu za kisiasa. Lakini azifikishi maneno mbele. What I want to see with the youths, what, what, what I'm trying to advocate for the youths, per se, from the level I left, because ours, we were so vibrant, mm. and wherever we were, we must be heard. But here is a situation where you want just to debate. No, you cannot get it through debates. You have yeah. to go, even right, like, during the time of... Uh, the, the past years, you see, when things are bad, he comes to the street, mobilize the people to put pressure to the government. Then he has to come to the table with the government to say, oh, what, what, what can we do now? I remember, I remember even yesterday during the uh, uh, gubernatorial ca campaign uh, declaration by Bigori. Gladys Wanga. Yeah. Not Bigori, the, in Homa Bay. Homa Bay, Homa Bay, sorry. In yeah. Homa Bay. Homa Bay yeah. You know, those who are there, yeah. uh, I could see, I, I can't even say 100% yeah. are youths. Are youths. I, I dare so. say, say so. yes. That's true, uh, and I appreciate your sentiments. Uh, the, the thing is this, um, there is a way of engaging depending on times. The, what what you, you guys are fighting for and the organization you're making under pressure groups were quite organized. That's, that's one thing I appreciate in the 90s and the 2000s. It, it, it was different as, yes. as, as, as opposed the to now. The kind of pressure group, if you talk about pressure group to me as a youth leader, you're, and I call for that, then I'm calling for goods. Why? Because when you are putting pressure, you must observe, just like physics, on whose side are you putting weight. Now, when we were 
here at the event on Friday, mm. the president made a good call. He said, we need a package. We need to organize ourselves so that even the government understands our political intentions in this election. Now, when you look at that kind of a conversation, it means that you need to understand your challenge and come with a solution and bring it to partner for a, a suitable what? A participation. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the key things that we have in this dispensation, we are in the dot com millennia dispensation. That's mm -hmm. a different one. That's why if you call for people to go out here nowadays, even after the handshake, no one has come out. But, because but, but now you see, Dottie, um, yes. it, 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 is, it, is, it is quite clear mm -hmm. that the issue, and of course this has been a comment that has been made severally by yes. so many different people, that the, the issue is not about the policy, yes. or the you don't have a constitutional issue. Yes. There are some leaders who say it's about a, a, a leadership issue. Yes. They say it's a leadership issue, so True. we are not uh, implementing what we have. Exactly. And, and, and therefore, when you say that uh, uh, we do not really need to consider who the president is, mm -hmm. does, doesn't that affect the implementation part of the constitutional uh, 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 that we are trying mm -hmm. to fight for. L let me rephrase so that I, I don't get uh, I, I don't get misquoted or out of content. Mm -hmm. My philosophy is going forward as a nation. Yeah. Okay. When young people are adequately empowered, when okay. they are now they are not when they are adequately empowered it then a, it becomes of no interest as much mm -hmm. because anyone can become a president but of course only that who can sustain the empowerment but does the, young people but, but doesn't the presidency affect economical empowerment it does for now and you know <laughs> it is not for my friend let me give let, you, let me let, let me, me inject you. something before you see when you talk about the presidency is the head of the state and all the resources are sort of, he, he, is, he has the power of all the resources of the nation and as a in reflection to the youth you must know who is going to be the president what kind of qualities of leadership and transformative aspect of leadership does he have but now you see abona charles the youth themselves have issues that they're struggling with on the ground. Exactly. On as a man who ground, how do you expect them to focus on the things above? Uh, yet the things... Uh, that's what I'm telling you. I was, I was talking about the civic education. Because they don't know what they want. They have more vocal... No, listen, listen uh, to me, my friend. Uh, 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 <laughs> let me finish and then I come back to you. Yes, yes, Nauti. Let, let me, let, let me enlighten uh, our, ourselves. As youth nation, we have a representation of young people across all political divide. That's the truth. We have representation. Of all young people from all political divide. That's why we are youth nation. Mm -hmm. that, is me, uh, that to me means I'm able to accommodate the opinions of a young leader uh, or, a, or, a, or, a, or a youth who has a different mindset. The only thing that I get concerned is the outcome of the decision of that kind of, you know, of a mindset. Now, when we come back to who becomes the leader, I think, seated here, personally, I have the conviction of who is going to become the leader of this great republic. I know. Mm -hmm. And... Can when the right it? time comes, I will say, I, I, I will speak on that. Yeah. But now, to come back to the real issues, when we discuss about young people not knowing what they want, we know what we want. The only thing is, the opportunity is not given to us. All right, uh, let me come to That's Charles. the truth. Yes. And that is a call that we have to keep on fighting. For. You know, <clears throat> I try to, I'm trying to bring things clear here because there's nothing you are going to be given first of all you must sit down and have an agenda and in that agenda it cannot be spread to each and every party each and every party have different ideology mm. so, so if you say that, that, that those who are saying bottom up bottom up 
top yeah. bottom top bottom mm. they are same things i don't know kenya kwanza kenya what mm. you know, so many so slogans you can and these people are very very cunning especially the old guards in politics and don't think that even them by the time they were youth look at their time of youth they were not given any any any, any space with the old constitution what do you mean they were not given any space they were not given any space they had to youths. struggle youths who are now old guards in politics they had to struggle they used to form rallies they used to go to the street to demand by the time we were having old constitution the youths of today they like to be used they like to be called given money do this you have said it here in homer bay the majority of the people there were youths why can't they come with their own because politics or election is there the voting I, 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 i'm being told that our time is up let's finish can i give you 30 seconds each to just have a final yeah, word so. yeah uh, so we, we, we won't continue from there that, yes okay. uh no uh we start with charles okay so it's a charles okay fine mine i can say that uh, uh we as kenyans we should be peaceful through the coming election there are so many words are coming up um, uh, allegations and what have you we should not care about those things we know what we want as, as as a country let us focus on the aspect of good leadership and the leaders are there we know them they are not imported okay and their ideology we know for those people who have struggled for this nation we should give them chance of leadership and we see what can happen if we love our constitution then this is the time we should follow that people who struggle for the, this constitution to so, the letter so so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes uh, my, my, my special attention is to the young people who are struggling the agenda for the youth nation is youth economic empowerment and transformation agenda we must come to a place where we reform mm -hmm. and reset and revive the participation of the youth in as far as leadership is concerned mm -hmm. economic inclusion is concerned and also the political discussion All so right. we have to be on the table so, so. Yes. thank you so much that is uh, that, that is Duarte there and uh, charles uh, ladies and gentlemen it has been a pleasure uh, being with you from the beginning to the tail end of this particular conversation. And uh, gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Thanks. Chairperson, Chairman, Youth Nation, and of course, Chairman, Bunge Lawazalendo. Today we are talking to chairpersons. And of course, it is upon you to choose who should be the president and uh, the chairperson of your particular region. And uh, the voice is given to you as a youth. Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the tail end of this particular conversation, but we still have more coming up for you right here on Wine in the Morning. My name is Ram Aguko. Keep engaging with us. The hashtag is Wine in the Morning.